Today's video, guys, we're going to be having a look at the new Kid Robot God of War vinyl miniseries figures. Yes, we are also going to be having a look at the case. And the case consists of 12 on the top, 12 on the bottom. That's 24. That's simple math. That's what it is. We're going to have a look at an entire set of these. By the way, these are now currently available in comic book stores. A quick glance at the box. This is what the box looks like. Some nice artwork on the sides. Equally so, on the back, it shows the eight characters that are inside the set. Consisting of two variations of Kratos, two variations of Atreus, uh, John Fodar, and I hope this is the correct pronunciation on some of these, Dottie Copmatter, this one is the most, the one I'm not most certain about, Witch of the Woods, and finally Leviathan. Uh, these sets look like you get pretty much three of every single character in the set of 24. It's a pretty easy set to build because you're really only having eight characters to build out of 24. Here's what the other side of the box looks like. And let's go ahead and get these opened up. I'm gonna grab a knife after all. That will assist us with getting these opened up. I'm sure I could probably just open up the top portion of the box. But of course, I'm gonna have to cut the foil, the foil bag on the inside. Quick look again at the characters inside. They're very blockier in nature. They kind of actually remind me a little bit of Samurai Jack. But your two Kratos, your two Atreus, uh, John, Jarn, Fotar. Oh boy, I'm sure I've mispronounced this badly. Dottie, Cat Matter. This is the one again I'm not quite certain of. Witch of the Woods and Leviathan. Uh, a bunch of glue has been still stuck to the box, but we're gonna go ahead and open up the first box. And we will continue to open up the boxes until we've revealed the entire set. And of course, the entire case. But the first bag. The first bag gives us, fittingly enough, Kratos. Let's just put him down for a second. Cut open his trusty axe. He'll need that. There we go. And it looks like it only fits in his one. No, scratch that. Yeah, it looks like he's got openings on both of his hands. Now, the hand itself, there we go. I was going to say, should twist the opposite way. Ah, there we go. Everything's really, really stiff on this figure. Looks like he doesn't have head articulation. It does look like he has arms, obviously, articulation. And hands. Nothing in the leg portion. Can't rotate anything there, but a stylized, to say the least, version of Kratos. We'll go ahead and get the axe into his hand. There's a close-up look. Ooh, look at the stunning details on the axe. The axe is a little bit of a softer plastic. We'll go ahead and put that into his hand like so. There we go. There we go. And you've got Kratos. Yes, it does kind of bear some resemblance to something I would expect to see in Samurai Jack. I do really like the stylistic nature of these characters. There we have Kratos. We'll put him down. And we'll open up the next one. Until, like I said, everything is done. All 24. Haven't done uncasing videos for a bit. I really want to get back into doing that. I really love doing the unboxings and stuff like this. It's very easy to enjoy things like video producing such as these because they're Kid Robot makes some really cool collectibles. Another Kratos to be added to the mix, complete with another axe. The plastic looks slightly warped here on the beard. Otherwise, it looks really nice. Again, very blocky. Let me also say, <clears throat> that's not what I also was going to say, but let me also say that the figures seem to be able to stand pretty good as well. Opening up the next one. Did I forget to mention? I don't believe I did. But these are available now in comic book stores. Should you wish to pick this up for yourself. And an astonishing number of Kratos. Three to be exact. And we've only really touched the first, well, the first row of the first tier. Another Kratos we can put over there. One of the benefits, certainly, of these collectibles is the fact that you're really... I mean, there's eight characters. Again, three. They don't 
make you really chase down any specific character. So if you want specifically this Kratos here, he's just as available single-wise, you know, he's on the dating circuit after all. He's just as available as the regular original Kratos. So that's good. I like that. Open up the next box. By the way, as well, if you guys wanted to check out some more unboxings of Kid Robot, I've got a playlist. I know I usually say that at the end of the video. But I've got a playlist on the channel. You can guys, you guys can go and check those out. All the uncasings I've ever done. It's there. You'll find it. And you can enjoy. Sit down with a sandwich. Just relax and enjoy yourself. So the next one that we have inside this set here is Jarn. Let me just look at the box art here. Would it be John Fotar? It's F-O-T-R. I'm assuming that's an F. It could very well not be an, an F, but J-A-R-N-F-O-T-R. How would you pronounce that? Game is not out yet, but certainly when it does come out, I'll be not first in line, but I definitely will be interested to pick it up. I've always been a big fan of God of War. not really sure what this is. I don't know if it actually fits onto his hand like a battering ram. It's all speculatory right now. But it does look like that seems the functioning route of where it's supposed to go. It's on his arm. The laughable end of it is two years from now, as this video game's been out for a very, very long time, everybody's already going to know all this stuff, and they're probably going to comment in my comments section. Dude, you should know it's this. Says the guy, two years later, having already played and beaten the game seven times. I really love the detailing on this particular gentleman, even though I'm not quite certain what this specifically does. It looks like, like I said, it fits onto his arm. It's not going anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and assume it's going there. Then, of course, I'll be playing the game months later, because I think it comes out in April. And I'll be thinking to myself, oh, he was supposed to wear it as a hat. What was I thinking? Again, some really nice detailing here. Specifically loving the big, bold black lining here that they've got on his detailing around the skirt area, around his forearms. There's the back of it. Posability again. Doesn't look like anything in the head. More so just in the arms and the hands. Jarn. Maybe his name is pronounced Yarn. I don't know. Not really sure. What I do know, though, is I am super stoked for the game. I want to think it's the first week of April. I want to say it's like in the teens. That may not even be correct either. But the next one that we're going to open up is another yarn. <laughs> no, or maybe it is yarn. I don't know. It's J-A-R-N. Yeah. Jarn. I don't know. We'll put him right there. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Another one, yes. Love the spikes on the top. It actually kind of reminds me of also Doomsday. And he comes with his, I'm going to assume his battering ram. Love the face, though. Go ahead and put him. Two of him. And so far, three Kratos. Let's grab the next box here. And... Get that cut open. I find the flaps never rip open as well as you would hope them to be. I sometimes would just think it'd be nice just to be able to just open it up, get in there. I guess it also prevents thievery. Certainly don't want somebody opening up one of these and then putting it back. That would be a no-no. Uh, the next one, another one. Another yarn fotar. Oh, man. Anybody watching this video a year or so from now is going to know perhaps I've either pronounced this guy correctly or incorrectly and have berated this comment section currently happening right now with tons of comments. You should have known that. How could you not have known his name is Yarne Fotare? It's just a lot of silent letters in there. So silent they're not even there. Have known that. Oh well. 
Uh, let's see. I don't see any accessories to come included with this one. Nope. The next one we have is Witch of the Woods. Helps if I turn her around. Uh, let's see if she has any sort of posability. Something it seems in the arms and nothing in the head. A little bit on the smaller side, in fact. Comparing the Witch of the Woods along with Kratos, you can see Kratos considerably bigger. Considerably. Well, I suppose not considerably. She could be like about that size and that, that would be a considerable height difference. Again, love the panel outlining here on the face as well as in the outfit. Like a little, uh, little back skirt here. It looks like it's almost like a fur pelt. Again, right now, just assumptions. Nothing in the head art, nothing in the way of head articulation, though, no, but that's okay. We'll just put the Witch of the Woods over here. This one does not seem to stand, however. We are getting our way through the top tier rather quickly, I might add, as we continue our journey. Not as much the dangerous journey that Kratos will be going through in the next God of War. Feels also small, slightly petite, and that's because we've got another Witch of the Woods. Okay, we'll put her down there. Oh, now see this one. That one stood. The other one didn't. Price point on these, by the way, would be close to around ten dollars. It will vary from comic book store to comic book store. If you're going to a comic book store and the guy is selling them there for $15 a box, I would suggest probably going to a different comic book store because he's ripping you off. But these are generally about a $10 price point, about eight, eight to $10, depending on where you go to get them. Another which of the woods can be added to the mix. I suppose one downside, and I'm gonna assume that this is across the board for all the kid robots, God of War pieces. I've noticed that a lot of times they stack them. So for example, as we went through the, the, the different characters, Kratos was like the first three, and then we had another three characters, and then, you know, Witch of the Woods. It seems almost if, if you didn't get the top row, I don't know, I'm gonna assume, the bottom row doesn't have an original Kratos. It very well could. It could be just the way that they stacked this particular case. Well, that's one downside, I suppose. Maybe more randomizing the boxes so that you may find yourself with an original Kratos up here, an original Kratos right there, <clears throat> perhaps right there as well. I'm also just kind of thinking too, like if you're going in to buy and you say grab, say the first three, well the first three based also on what we've just opened up, would also say that you probably got home with three of the exact same Kratos. It could vary. <clears throat> I'm just, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm still also fighting my cold a little bit. It's actually been more of a flu than anything else. It's just been lingering. Just a lingering flu. Go away already. I never wanted you here in the first place. Just go. Okay, so we've got the translucent, slightly bluish Kratos. Actually, you know what? We'll grab the Kratos that has his axe. There we go. A better comparison, I think. The two Kratos figures. Really digging the slight... Well, I guess you could say it's slightly translucent. You can kind of see my finger my hand going behind it. Swapping majority of the paints really just for black outlining and some white. Really love the look of it though. <clears throat> yes, I just have this pesky flu. It just doesn't want to go away. The majority of the symptoms are gone. And now I've just got that, you know that, just that nagging clearing of your throat. Oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. But that's what I've got right now. And I only really shoot the video content that you guys are watching, hopefully, right now. If you are, you probably, well, if you're not, you would have absolutely no idea what I'm saying because you're not watching it. 
generally I shoot my video content during the weekend though. And then throughout the course of the week, I actually go to the real job, the grown-up job. So it really sucks when you get sick closer to the end of the week because you kind of already know, okay, Saturday and Sunday are my days that I, I record stuff. So if I start feeling as if I'm starting to get a little bit sick closer to the end of the week, my first thought is drat. My first thought is probably a little bit more graphic than drat, but for the sake of this, I'll say drat. Drat, I wanted to get some videos recorded over the weekend. Oh no, oh no, his arm just popped off. Let's see if I can grab it. Let's see if I can grab it, there we go. Luckily, it's just a ball peg. Well, it's just a peg joint. A little on the loose side. Somehow it just ended up popping right off. Another Kratos, though, to be added to the mix. So two Kratos of the blue variety. Kind of a blueberry Kratos. And then three original Kratos. We continue our journey on, and so far we have not gotten Atreus. I'm gonna guess that's how you pronounce the name. And we haven't gotten a Leviathan, and we haven't gotten a Dotty Cap Matter. And um, that's the name I'm going with. So let's see how well we do as we open up the next box. And we'll put the box right over there, just making a, a considerable pile over here. Next one we have. Oh, there's another Kratos. Lots of triples in this particular release. Still a splendid, splendid portrayal of Kratos. Loving, loving that blueberry, that translucent blueberry. It's like blueberry candy. Mm-mm. I say mm-hmm, but I don't really like blueberry candy. I find blueberry is one of those things you just can't artificially produce. It never tastes right. You ever have blueberry candy and eating it and you're thinking I'm certain a blueberry doesn't taste like this kind of feel the same way when it comes to artificial banana you can't have banana candy banana candy never tastes like bananas instead it tastes like this abomination I don't even know what I could describe it as well I could say this I wouldn't describe it as banana that's for sure go banana go away banana go away so the next one we have is the Leviathan which looks like it plunges itself into the head area here. The noodle. I guess it goes like this. No, that's not correct. That's not right. It's supposed to go up like... I'm going by the diagram here. Let's actually... Here's the diagram. Let me bring the box in. It's supposed to be wedged higher up. Okay, so basing it from the, the diagram here. It's supposed to, it's supposed to, it's actually supposed to, well, I guess that's, oh, there we go. Just by process, just by sheer virtue of almost giving up on it, I got the ax in place. I like that because at least you can remove the ax if you wanted to. Not that it would fit into this Kratos's hand. That's really cool. I like this one. There's the back of it. The Leviathan. Nice name, too. I've always liked the name Leviathan. I've also really always liked the movie Leviathan. Which is kind of like the, the B-tier version of Abyss. Abyss is kind of like the grade A movie. Then grade B is Leviathan. Grade, way down, grade C is Deep Star 6. Was it Deep Star 6? Deep... It was Deep something 6. It was like the, the alien looked like a giant ant. I think it was Deep Star 6. One of them had Ernie Hudson in it. I think that one was... Deep Star 6, or whatever that movie was called had the guy from My Two Dads. And he's like, well, what's My Two Dads? My Two Dads TV show had Paul Reiser in it. Okay, so a long overdue figure that we didn't get yet was Dotty Cap, Cap Matter. I'm gonna, gonna go with that, Cap Mander, Cap Matter, 
cat matter. Let's look at the box again. D A U D I Dotty, I'm going to go with C A U P Cop or Cap. Could be Cop, Cop Matter. Dotty Cop Matter. None of this is probably correct. Anyways, we push forward box right there there we go now this one has a similar sort of contraption as the other one that we had to look at and I'm again assuming I'm thinking it goes into the arm socket because it seems to stay in place it could be absolutely incorrect actually you know what I'm gonna grab the other end of this I'm wondering move this down move this down I, I thought for a second no I guess not I thought maybe these connected together you want to kind of eliminate all possibilities. Perhaps there weren't battering rams. Perhaps they you, you had to collect both of them. They merged together, kind of like the power sword from He-Man. No, it's not. That's not the case. I'm assuming that, that they're pillars that they hold in their arms. And kind of get the vibe of a doomsday sort of very much looking more like a, a creature you would see from Samurai Jack. Well, the spirals also on the arms and the chest. This especially looks very much like Doomsday. Still has your arm posability, your hand posability. Nothing in the head, nothing in the legs. There's the underside of it. That was Kid Robot stamped on the bottom. I started making my way through the middle. I really don't know what I was doing there, but I'm going to try to kind of even it off here. It's like getting your hair cut. They go in and they kind of just do a lot of the chopping and then afterwards they always did the same thing to you. Okay, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to even it out. Even it out. I always think evening it out sounds like you made a mistake and you're quickly just trying to clean it up. Clean up shop because you know it looks disastrous. Uh, another Leviathan, complete with skull, complete with axe. Put that one right over there. Our quick tally now once again going back to... Uh, tells us that Atreus times two, we haven't gotten those yet, and that's it actually, just those two figures. Those two figures, and we've got ourselves, what, nine, nine boxes. Anybody, by the way, wondering the weight on these, like does one feel considerably heavier than the other? The answer is yes, this one feels a little heavier than, say, for example, the Witch of the Woods. Stuck to the bag. And we got ourselves another Dotty. Yeah, Dotty. I'm going to go with that. Dotty. Look at this mess, by the way. Look at this big mess happening over on the side. Boy, oh boy. Clean up your act, man. It's everywhere. Just a, just a field of debris. We are now down, down to the wire. Eight boxes left to go. And still being eluded by Atreus. She's character's not there. Atreus. Hopefully, hopefully in the next coming boxes we'll at least get those two. And then we can call this a day. We've got the entire set. Ugh, there we go. The axe was stuck to the bag again. Another Leviathan. The box has not lied to us, by the way, either. We managed to get so far three of every single character. So this is a very successful, I would like to consider, unboxing. In the sense that if you are looking to pick up the entire set, shy of the fact that you're going to probably be picking up multiples of the same one if you don't grab, say, you know, randomly, not banging the camera, randomly grabbing a box here, a box here, a box here, you should be able to get the entire set. Permitting, of course, you're probably going to spend a little bit more for it, but at least you can get a, an entire set. You're not going to have to be hunting down for one box, that one elusive character that it's like, you know, one of every 72 has this particular character. Not be the case here, as we pull up another clearly evident, uh, you know, example of this, another Dottie. So we've gotten three of everything. The only two missing are the Atreus and the blue blueberry flavored Atreus. 
probably not blueberry flavor. While I'm cutting this open, let me do a little bit of uh, advertising here. Certainly, if you haven't had a chance yet to hit that little subscribe button on this video, you're missing out really on a lot of content. I'm just going to throw that out there. There's so many videos happening on this channel on a regular basis. Sometimes I'm even baffled by the amount of content that I throw up on this channel. Sometimes it's three videos a day. Three videos a day. So if you haven't already hit the little subscribe button, I always say it's little. I suppose it's not too little. But if you haven't already, make sure you do so. Because I happen to think what I put out there is pretty cool. I might sound a little biased by saying that, but I happen to think... The content is pretty cool that I'm putting out there, so make sure you're following along. So we have blueberry flavored Atreus. This one has a little bow and arrow. I already does not want to stay in the hand here, but I've already put the quiver, the quiver, that's what it's called. You can go pick up the bow and arrow. There it is right there. Doesn't really want to stay in place, mind you. Let's try the other hand. No, it sits, sits a little on the loose side, I have to admit. I guess, I guess I could turn it sideways. Wish it would stay a little bit better in hand, but here's the blue Atreus. Again, going by spelling, A-T-R-E-U-S. What would you think? Atreus? 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 No, maybe not. Put that right over there. Dude, you should totally know this. You're welcome, by the way, for watching this free video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? Let's go ahead and open up the next box. We're coming down to five boxes, this being the fifth. And let's open up the bag, see what we got. Sees what we got going zones over here. Got another bow. Got another quiver. I'm opening this one. I know I already opened the other one. More curious than anything else. I just want to see if it's across the board. This particular mini series, Atreus does not properly hold the arrow, so or the bow. So I'm trying it to see if this one. Okay, so it seems like it's across the board. Just doesn't want to hold it properly. That's a shame. I'll go ahead and put the quiver on the back. Yeah, it sits a little loosey-goosey. Just a little loosey-goosey. Does not want to stay in the hand. So we got th two of those. I'm certain we're going to get another one of those. And then we should have the regular, and then that's it. We've got the entire case. Done. Done and done. And I mean done. And thank you for taking the time to watch this video content, especially these long videos. Longer videos, I do ramble a little bit. I admit, I admit that. So thank you for everybody that takes the time to listen to my yammering as I do these uncasings. Got another Atreus. Dude, that's not how it's pronounced. C'est la vie. And then we've got three at the back, which I think it's safe to say is all going to be the original release, the original version, not the blueberry flavored one. So we'll open up this one, then the next one. Anybody want to take in? Yes, and then and, and the one after that. So all three are opened up. So I'm going to get this one cut open. Looking at the blueberry skin for, for as long as I did on those last three unboxings, it's actually a nice breath of fresh air to be looking at one that actually has some color. And fantastic looking color. Equally so, nice looking face as well. Very, very stylistic. We'll go ahead and check the bow and we'll also check the quiver, see if it fits. Well, we know the quiver will. The question will be whether the the actual bow will fit in the hand. Let's find out. Quiver, successful. Bow, oh, hand, 
<laughs> Go ahead and put the hand back on. Got a little excited there. Bow. Mmm. Still fits a little on the loose side, but not loose. Not as loose as this one here. By the way, there's the, the comparison between the two. In the back. Minus Sans Le Quill. I suppose it's somewhat anticlimactic because we already kind of know what the next two boxes are going to be. But yet I push on. I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up nonetheless. <clears throat> Another plug, by the way, to this channel, if you guys wanted to go back and have a look at any of the other God of War stuff, I just recently re-reviewed a lot of the God of War figures. I did a, a comparison video where I talked about all the NECA God of War figures. Technically, that's not true. There was a couple of, I think there was a Poseidon's Rage uh, Kratos, which I never did pick up. I don't know. I just, just because it was kind of the same figure, just a different color. So I didn't ultimately pick up that one. So it really technically wasn't the entire NECA wave relevant that we're talking about NECA for this particular review, but I just want to mention. If you guys want to check out any of the other God of War stuff, figures and collectibles and all that stuff, got a playlist for that as well. This is a channel, if anything that could be said for this channel, is that there's lots of playlists. Many, many playlists. I try to organize things as best I can, so when you guys are coming here, it's easier to find stuff. Nothing worse than not being able to find something, especially your cell phone. I'm frequently leaving my cell phone. Where did I leave my cell phone last? And I'll always get, well, why don't you call your cell phone? Yeah, yeah, sometimes I mute my cell phone. It doesn't help me at all. So this is the last bag, the last box right here. For the new God of War. This was the God of War mini-series from the folks over at Kid Robots. And yes, we did get ourselves another Atreus 3. And actually, the box was right. We did get three of every single figure in this set. What's my favorites? I'm going to probably say my all-time favorite of the three. Somewhat biased, I suppose, but I would probably say Kratos is my favorite of this entire set. Second favorite, I would go with, I might even go with, well, you know what, I'm jumping ahead of myself here. I would say the Leviathan, just for the fact that you can remove the axe from the skull and it doesn't look like the other characters, I would say this is my third favorite. I did kind of just leap over the second one. So who, win, who wins the silver? Kratos got the gold, Leviathan got the bronze. Who gets the silver. Hmm. I might say I have my th second favorite, almost about to say my third favorite, but my second favorite, it would be this one right here, which again, going to the box, Yarn or Jarn Fotar. S pronunciation aside, it's actually a really neat looking figure. There's the back of it right there. Yes, 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 and yes. It would be interesting to see where this video ends up several years from now, as this particular God of War has already come and gone. Maybe by that point there's going to be a sequel and a threequel. But in the meantime, today we were having a look at the new Kid Robot God of War vinyl miniseries. Had a look at the entire case. I made a lot of mess over here and a lot of open figures over here. Uh, these, by the way, again, are available in comic book stores now, right at this minute. So if you guys are interested in picking this up for yourself, you can check your local comic book store. What? 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 You can't find a comic book store in your area. www, yes, that's, you know the address, comicshoplocator.com. <laughs> no, I'm not sponsored. As <laughs> somebody said, a couple of people have said, are you sponsored by Comic Shop Locator? Absolutely not. I don't even know how they would sponsor anybody. It's just an address, really. It's just a website. You put in your information. That would be like Google Maps sponsoring you. I just say that because 
I wasn't able to find a comic book shop in my area. I put in my postal code because I live here in Canada. Bingo, bango, bazunga. I got myself a comic book store in my area. And that's actually the one I go to all the time. So comic shop locator. And they don't sponsor me. <laughs> As always, guys, thanks for watching, as you always do. Thanks. Really appreciate you guys watching these longer unboxing videos. I love doing these unboxing videos. i got to do more of them. And, of course, regular videos will be coming soon to this channel as well. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. See you next time.